Alright, we will show you how you can change your background on Gmail. So if you're really tired of your background and bored of it, this is a fun and easy way to change it. First off, go in settings. So it's a gear kind of looking option located on the top right of our screen. And then choose theme so you can just leave settings and the last option will be theme. So the last option here is theme. So and then just click on set themes. If you don't want to do this, all you do is just go in this option again and click on themes. And you'll end up here. And here what it is is there are options of background slash images you might want to put. But if you don't want these, it's okay. There is my photo, so you can upload your own photo and stuff. So like, first, so in featured, all it is is just images and more backgrounds. So don't worry if you saw these ones before in the previous option. So before we clicked my photos, because they might repeat too. And you can just pick any of these or you can even do more. So my photos is actually if someone emailed you in photo, a photo or you have a photo in your Gmail account or Google account, you just put it in there or upload a photo. All you do in this is select a photo from your computer. First, click on the option. You can even drag a photo there, but if you want to do this way, you can. So then choose one of the photos you want to upload and then choose. But if you want to not click choose, all you do is just double click on it. Just wait for it to upload. There it is. It's going to be right here mentioned in the pick your theme option. So if you click on it and save it, it's going to stay there. And if you don't want that background, it's fine. You can change it. Or you can even delete that option. So there's this share option. So if you want to share this background. Or if you just want to delete it, you can totally delete it. And then what do you do is in the paste URL option. So in this option, what you do is just anywhere on the web you want a photo, all you do is just paste the URL of the image. So this is actually meant if you have some images on the web that you want to be on your background, what you do is just paste the URL of the image here in the space. So you can just copy and paste it. And as it says here, if, if your URL is not correct, you'll see an image preview here. Large images might take a few minutes to appear. Remember, using other images on the web without their permissions may be bad manners or worse, copyright infringement. So make sure you read this before you even paste the URL here in the space and take permissions if you don't want copyright issue. So for recently select, so what you do is just click on one of those images that you want and just select and you'll see that photo appear on the back. So what you do now is pretty simple. You can just save it if you want that or if you add, want to add more touch to it, like want to make it a bit better or the way you want it to look. All you do is go in the text background. So it's actually going to change these tabs color. So as you can see, it's black now. Like that. And if you want to add a wetnet to this image, all you do is just move this bar here and can just make those edges a bit darker or lighter so just add just that and for the blur what you do is just if you want to make the image a bit blur all you do is just move that dot again and that's all you do make sure to save it before you quit because you want it to be there and thanks for watching don't forget to hit like subscribe and share the video